everybody, it's me, Doug. I was watching my intro on the thing. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I just in a goofy mood, wanted to do something a little different. Um, we'll make a few changes to it here and there. I just thought it was a lot of fun and uh, wanted to be a little silly. Got excellent. I found that song. That was the song I was using there for a long time. I think it was might have, I might have been using it before it was I started just straight up calling it the Doug Cast, but uh, I used that song for a while, so uh, I wanted to I wanted to use that again and thought that little video was a lot of fun, especially because it had Bill Cosby in there. I know we don't hear from Bill a whole lot anymore. The kids and the pudding pops and the droody but he's still around. He's 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 hiding in the corner, and he know how he is. Old oh, crazy Bill. Old oh, crazy Bill. But I hope you I hope y'all are doing fantastic today. Um, all the vestry orders are out except for one. That guy that won't email me back. I'm considering it completely fulfilled until he uh, he messages me back. Um. Pretty much all the regular Lone Wolf books are gone. There's a few stragglers here and there. I've got to get their addresses fixed or something because they won't work. And I got a, a damage book I got to replace. But um, these are pretty much done. The Kickstarter books will be here probably Friday. What is today? Thursday? No. They'll be here Saturday or Monday got like 15 of those to send out and then as soon as i get them done it'll be hardcover books so really looking forward to having all that crap done uh nice to see all the people here in the chat we've got fly fox pro lorenzo skinny eric hawkins and shabby oh shabby's here now i don't know if you guys have been paying much attention or not but um Vestry is funding right now the Matt Weldon cover. So if you haven't yet, you need to go check that out. I will drop the link into the chat here. Uh, so go check that out. You know, this is really cool. I don't know if you guys have seen the video. We'll play the video real quick. Yeah, Eric, I noticed that as well. It the number of the backers is the same, but the but the money has went down. Um, it says it's twenty seven percent. It was like at fifty percent yesterday. Let me take a quick little gander here and see what's going on. Oh, ah, poopy. I gotta log out. I I sent a lone wolf update. So if you're following lone wolf, 
Um, you should be getting an update. Ah! Wrong password. Wrong password. Let's see. Let me go in here. And look. Oh, they make you sign all this, uh, do all this backer stuff now. Yeah, they might have uh, pulled some of their. From what I can see, though. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, uh, we had we had somebody cancel. They bought one of the artwork uh, things and they canceled on it. What we need to do? We need to put some pictures up of the artwork that comes with it, and maybe that will. Uh, We'll get some people in there on that. Another thing you guys need to sign up on, you need to go and sign up on Otis Stein. Uh, that is launching on Indiegogo on uh, on Tuesday. No, Wednesday, the 2nd. Um, Shabby, they need, they need to be able to see the... Um, the artwork, I think, then that'll, that'll make a big difference. We didn't really po put, the, don't have the pictures on there, what it is. So, but you guys need to sign up on this. Everybody that signs up, we're going to give them something a little special. I think, uh, I think we're talking about doing like a special pin up for everybody that signed up ahead of time. So, get on that. Get on that. This book is going to be fantastic. Um, really uh, awesome, you know. We Vestry's fulfilled on Indiegogo. Vestry on uh, Kickstarter is running for almost thirty days. We're going to run. I think we're going to run Otis for sixty days. And then in the middle of Otis, we're going to launch the Kickstarter. So, yeah. You didn't even notice the Kickstarter was going, Shabby? Somebody replied to my comment on uh, Facebook. You guys don't look at that. Don't look at that. That's secret stuff. That's secrets. But go sign up for Otis Stein. And Go Back Vestry. Uh, two really awesome books. Uh, once I get all alone, like I said, I got like 30 orders to fulfill on Lone Wolf. Once I get that done, we'll be going into Lone Wolf Issue 2, Full Blast. Um, I've already decided uh, if the artist, I'm going to start paying him per page. And if he can't get pages done, I'm just going to have to go with somebody else. Because uh, I, I need to get stuff done. Uh, I can't draw the book myself. So I need to find somebody who wants to draw the book. And wants to wants to make stuff. So. We talked about for days and days about launching it on Wednesday. Shabby, where was you at? Is it even Wednesday? Where, was it even Wednesday wherever you were? You old silly boys. You old silly Europeans. So 
Oh yeah, Eric. We're gonna go. I'm gonna pull that up. We're gonna look at that. Eric Hawkins drew. Uh, let's see. Let me go to Twitter's. I'll pull up my Twitter's. We'll go look for Eric Hawkins. Let's see. Because Eric drew this awesome piece right here. Let me uh, open it. Display. Look at this right here. This is awesome. Yeah, Shabby, you can jump in. I don't know how long I'm gonna I'm gonna stream. I'm streaming a little bit earlier today because I'm gonna try to get out of here. Also, guys, um, I don't have it pulled up right now, but Tonic Mole is uh, trying to get Lily and Wepawet funded on uh, Indiegogo's. So if you can go in back that as well. Let's see. Let's let's open up something and get Shabbatha in here. Let's see. Shabby, send me a send me a hangout link through uh, Twitter and I'll pull you up on here. Sorry, I was reading, guys. It's my post it time. I'm like, I need to read this. Yeah, Shabby, start up. Hang out to send me a link and I'll get you in here. I was trying to watch Fly Fox last night. I talked to Skinny for a minute. Skinny's like, what are you doing? I was like, oh, I just woke up, fed the dog. I went like back on the couch and I turned YouTube on and went to sleep. I like to fall asleep instead of doing things. Okay, I got Shabby in here. Let's see. Can you hear me, Shabby? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I got you in here now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's get this book funded. <laughs> oh yeah! I need to, like I said, ah! I need to post the that artwork in there. I think that would help if we posted some of it. Y yeah. Um. <laughs> I think I have um, messaged you all of them on Twitter, and that's probably where they all are. <laughs> I need to address one man. In this chat, Eric Hawkins, you bloody good artist. That was dope as fuck, and I love how you you went into the detail and got the buckle right and shit like that. And yeah, Eric is awesome, man. Strapped shirt, ah, I love it, and the knuckles. I I like the knuckles on the hand. I don't know, that's small thing. Loved it. Guess what? Yeah. <laughs> so ah, I'm I'm excited. This is. It's exciting. And you guys launched it without telling me. I was gone for a day and suddenly it's launched well, and because it doesn't have internet, so there are no shows. <laughs> we we'd been so talking about it. See it. I noticed What like, were you thinking? I was like, nobody is talking. And I was like, what's going on? And then all of a sudden here pops up right? pickles yeah. and he's like, Are we launching today? And I'm like, I I, I can make it happen. What? <laughs> <laughs> what a silly goose. He doesn't have any understanding of timing. I know. Ah. It's all right. Hi. The, the mighty Bunderdome have shown up in the chat. If we have to, uh, we can extend it. I actually uh, bought some Facebook ads, and so far, yeah. it's drawn in like 50-something people to your campaign. Oh, that's pretty dope. I don't know if any... I don't know if any of them's back. And, and back? <laughs> yeah. But what I did is to I made an fair, ad. I, I, uh, okay. 
the ad's so, got that video that I was showing that, that you made. And uh, it's got the link, wow. and it shows the cover and stuff. So the thumbnail is actually the Matt Weldon cover. Obviously. Yeah, so, you know, maybe it'll draw a couple. If It's supposed to get a couple thousand people to look at it. So if the, if if we can get, you know, two or three to back, that would be pretty good. Uh, I, uh, yeah, I, I, would, I would think so. <laughs> I'm, I'm so excited. Uh honestly this has been a blast and um i released some cool concept art from issue two so go check them on twitter <laughs> and drop on that way yo i feel hip i i feel kind of gangster because now i've been criminalized <laughs> because my car got broke broke into what up now you have to break into somebody else's car and steal a radio. Right? Is is that how it works? That's how it works. <laughs> ah, cool. But you go, you find a car with a nicer radio. So when you bust, you the, the, the thing is, I don't even use the radio. I just play <laughs> stokes from my phone. Oh, Who listens man. to radio these days? Ugh. <laughs> look at the mohawk I have going on. Bad hair, bad hair mohawk. I'm, 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 I, I shall be the cockatoo, new superhero. Kaka! Kaka! <laughs> I'm weird. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make uh, me laugh, Shane. Oh no! I've got the corona. <coughs> I've only yeah, got a ninety-nine point eight percent chance to live. <laughs> oh no! Oh, Flyfox says if I if he draws my character, um, will he get complimented? Well, if you could do a good job enough, <laughs> you gotta do it good though. <laughs> you, you do gotta do a good if job. If it sucks, you he'll if ridicule it sucks, you. I'll ridicule it into the ground, boy. <laughs> ah, Serena's just a Captain Cuckoo. Let's go. <laughs> That's my catchphrase. Let's go. Cuckoo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, you can see my poster. I don't have a, f a phrase. Nice. And what bums me out, I was in a comic shop, right? And I get to Prague like once in a year, whatever. And I'm like, I'm going to buy some comic books. Cool. A and then I get a call and, it and it's like, um, sorry, your car got broken into. You need to leave immediately. And I'm like, I'm in Prague, <laughs> so, I, <laughs> so I jump on the quickest train first. Going ah, what a what a bad job. Got a night in the chat. Sorry, I'm sketches in the chat. Let's go. This is a good stream. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I don't know if you saw my new intro, but it was pretty epic. I, I did saw your intro. Axel's very cute in it. <laughs> I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the same intro, but change it and have a couple of different people in it. So on different days, I'll just use a <laughs> random different one. Oh, that's dope. So I've got to get one like with you and Pickles in it, and then I've got to get one with Skinny <laughs> in it. And then we need Eric Hawkins and so oh. some pretty much need to take most of the chat and just randomly put them in there. It compromising pictures of pickles. There we I go. photoshopped his face on like a weep with a katana. <laughs> They're pretty dope. <laughs> we should just take pickles' real face and photoshop it onto a pickle. See that 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 would be basically just his avatar. <laughs> Oh, man, man. So who's I'm, I'm excited for everyone in the chat. We have Video James and Butterdom. Uh, do you have car insurance? Unfortunately, I don't. Uh, but it's not that bad. It's like the radio was like 15 bucks, so it's whatever. And I have a little saved up, so that will cover the window. <laughs> man, that would that still, yeah. that still sucks, though. He was a very careful criminal. He didn't damage anything else. Gotta, gotta go. He left a lot of blood in the car, though. <laughs> he cut himself on the glass. Oh, good. Fucking dumb bitch. <laughs> hey, there, James. That's good. I'm glad, I'm glad he got hurt. <laughs> oh. 
Okay, let's stop talking about my sad sack of life. How's you? <laughs> I'm no longer Chevy, I'm the mighty cockatoo. <laughs> oh. This, this is what I need. Escapism. Let's live in a fantasy. <laughs> Please. I live every day in a fantasy. I pretend I'm in a junkyard and I want to burn it down. That's, that's your fantasy. That's, that's actually not a fantasy. That's how I feel in real so, life. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I thought you were you know, living your iron giant uh, fantasy. Yeah, Just I like wish. Living in junkyard. I wish I was a giant robot. I'd smash everything. Mmm. Ah, uh, we have links. Video James says, get a tape deck, Shabby. No one was still a tape deck. Uh, a hipster <laughs> would. A hipster would walk by and go, oh, a cassette player. And they'd bust it out and put it in their 1982 <laughs> whatever they drive. They're like, oh, I nice. was driving one of these before. It was cool. And they'd pop in their cassette tape. <laughs> oh, man. I love what they're saying. <laughs> if you... What's in this course? Ah. That's a hot political take. Yeah. Mother Dome says that they would have arrested you for injuring him in the man. You injured him when he cut himself on your car. You'd be held responsible. Yeah. I, I freaking hate that. You, you know, I, I kind of wish I caught him in the act. But then I probably get arrested. <laughs> Just... Yeah, for defending your Look, property. This man is so much taller than than this lad. He must have been the aggressor. As you can see, I slept one. But what if the guy was like eight foot tall, and he was like, no one's eight foot tall. And if they're eight foot tall, then probably like wobbly on their what skill. What if it was legs. Hulk Hogan? What if Hulk Hogan busts out your window? How how tall is Hulk Hogan? I don't know, but he'd leg drop the crap out of you. Uh, he's, he's old now, right? <laughs> I could think. If he laid dropped Hulk you, he would, be, he would be laying on the ground crippled Look, because he's so old. Hulk, Hulk Hogan has many injuries over the years, <laughs> and he's pretty old. I'm sure I could take Hulk Hogan. I'm pretty sure if you just took off on, on a brisk walk, he couldn't catch I, up to you. <laughs> I'd steal his bloody bandana and slap his forehead, <laughs> and he couldn't do anything about it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Tim's being dumb. Ah, I, I needed this. <laughs> Tim, shame on you. Uh, Tim has a dirty mind. He he has this public persona of like loving bunnies and whatever, but but then you then you actually talk to him and he he he's kind of dirty. <laughs> I think I'm going to develop uh, multiple personalities myself. Mm. I think I'm gonna be Doug right. sometimes, and then other times I'm gonna be this guy that wears a mask. Nice. Whose hair sticks out of the eye holes and he can't see. If if you wear a mask, you can be my sidekick to the mighty cacatoo. Oh. There we go. Got Look my head on. I don't like masks though. It makes my mustache go in my mouth. <laughs> It hurts my beard. Oh, yeah. I, I, I hate it when, when um, my mustache like flips and goes into... You look mighty fine in the mask. But... This is my COVID mask. Yeah. If anybody mm. tells me to put a mask on, this is what I'm going to wear. I'm waiting for a poop joke. It's been too long yet. <laughs> no poop jokes. No poop. No poop jokes. They miss all over poop jokes. That's his favorite thing to do. Tim, Tim is a poop. You're a poop, Tim. Tim. Is wonderful. He's a wonderful poop. Wonderful purse poop. For me to poop on. Purse print. Purse print. Oh man, let's talk. Mask. Let's let's talk some. Let's talk some more shit. Let's let's do it. No. Okay. No, I got two masks on. Yeah. One thing, guys. We're in the uh, in the state of emergency because Pickles has officially uh, outdone me in the followers on Twitter, and I just can't have that. That mofo has been posting my art 
getting all the likes. <laughs> I want some of that credit. <laughs> And I don't know why everybody likes you better than pickles anyway. Yeah. At least I think they I'm do. more I'm more likable. I like Come you on. better than pickles. Yes. Until you're yes, not yes, around, yes. then I like pickles. All right. I'm... <laughs> I was going to take try to take a drink of my Mountain Dew just now. I forgot I had a mask on. <laughs> Boy, this is fun. <laughs> Tim's in the chat like, yes, poop stories. I don't know. No, Tim, no poop. No poop. No poop. No poop for you. Oh, I'm still trying to find the bloody artworks. <laughs> well, I posted I think... every single one. I think that, that's go... what kills me. Go ahead. Yeah, sorry. No, go ahead. No, no, no. You go no, ahead. No, you go ahead. No, yeah, go, go ahead. Go. Listen to me. You go ahead. 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 If you don't be good, I won't give you a dog treat. Oh, come here. A little scooby snack. Up here. Up here. Oh. Good boy. Let me poop you. I don't know. I'll, your your face. Oh, burn! <laughs> you got burnt, Tim. Oof. I don't have poop stories. Uh, poop not man. About how? Okay, you want to hear a poop joke? My art compared to Weldon. <laughs> it's a great cover. <laughs> it's a great cover. Someday you'll be you'll be the guy or Bubba go, I wish Shebby would draw a cover for my book. And you'll be like you'll look down and you'll say, No. Oh, I'd say how much? He'd say five dollars. <laughs> I'd say one windows worth. <laughs> You'd say one car stereo. Can I get an ox cord with it, please? If you weren't driving a Lamborghini, <laughs> people wouldn't be busting the windows out. Yeah. Uh, I, I live in a dangerous place. I'm I'm a boy from the street, I guess. <laughs> uh, oh, this is too funny. I, 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 I'm loving all these guys in the chat. You guys make my day. Thank you for, thank you for all the niceness. All of them are mods except Video James, and I gotta make Video James a mod. V Video James, also known as Better James. Better James is now a mod. Better James. So that means everybody in the chat is a mod. You. Oh! Found pictures of the Cool. Cool, 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 cool. I'll, I'll let it tweet it. I'm a ghost. Ooh, spooky. Chevy, now you're a ghost, because I'm put my face over your face. N not my face. I put my face over your face. Um. Now you're a ghost. That's, that's kind of... I, I don't know how, to, how I feel about that. <laughs> you, you shouldn't feel good, because I'm a ghost. Yeah. You're, you're way too in my face. <laughs> ghost. Yeah. You, you might be a ghost, but you still have the cockatoo uh, <laughs> mohawk. Yeah. You're just jealous, Shabby. I'm incredibly jealous. I'm not gonna lie. But hey. What you gonna do about it? I'm putting some stars behind us so we're in outer space. Ooh, that's the space I want to be. Or at least I'm in outer space. Ha <laughs> 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 I'm, 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 I'm possessed by, uh, <laughs> by an abomination of skull and America. <laughs> yeah. America, if yeah. 
Here we come to take over Chevy. Yeah, especially these days, eh? <laughs> Chevy, Fall Fox Pro wants to know if you're a great singer. Oh, uh, but let me answer you with a song. <laughs> pa -pa -da -pa -da -pa -da. Uh, Ring of Fire. Or what kind of song? I, I don't know songs, though. So I might be a great singer, just not knowing any songs. You don't know any songs? And it burns, burns, burns. Fiery ring of fire. It burns. Down, down, down. It and the flames went poop. higher. It burns when you poop, Shay. Let's, like, let's like go all mellow. Just like on a woodstock and just... Woo! Me and Chevy should start a band. I'll clap to the tambourine. I'm like the front of the stage, but with a tambourine. I'm like Yuriko Ono. So I'm, I'm, I'm like the side piece. Let's slap in. Axel, what are you doing? Axel coming here and knocked that copy of Vestry over. He didn't want nobody to have it. He wanted to keep it for himself. Try to keep it for himself. <laughs> I backed it, by the way. But I didn't fulfill oh, oh, it. I didn't fulfill my order, so I don't know. I might have shipped myself a book. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> you read the book. How, how did you like the book, Doug, by the way? It's, I like it. It's a, It's one of those, and I, this is the way I've done my book. It definitely want you want to read more. Mm, it's like the cool. story's just getting started. I want to see more, which is way better yeah. than... Being like, oh man, I can't even make it through this page because there's so much dialogue. Yeah, I hate books like that. And your book is is got the right amount of action and dialogue. I like it a lot. There's like no dialogue. <laughs> I like well, if my book is the same way. If you read Lone Wolf, it's very similar to that. I don't like characters uh, who to yeah. talk a lot and say a lot of nonsense. Oh, for sure. I think the second one is more uh, dense, but still like fun. Tim says it needs more male nudity. Well, I made how about him, this? I'm, I I'm fanceless. I made him block out the nudity that was in it. <laughs> it's just a dope part of me. Next time we'll take we'll take a draw a big naked man and we'll send that just to Tim. Mm. You think Tim draws big naked men for himself? Like privately, you know, he's like, you know, start a sketch, you know, warm up, big old naked man. This mask is killing me, Shabby. Why did you tell me to put this on? You need to protect other people, then. <laughs> need to protect them from my face. It <laughs> makes my beard itch. I hope, hopefully there's no loss in that mask. You know, like flesh-eating bacteria in it or something. So, so we're like maskless, right? And I didn't realize you have to wear a mask for the subway uh, in Prague. So I had to, like, hold a nap, you know, all, all the way. <laughs> I don't think people would mind if I, you know, didn't do it, but still. <laughs> Tim says he's so tired of drawing women, he needs to draw more naked dudes. Mm. See, 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 that's the thing, right? I'm jealous of Tim's 
women drone abilities. I can whip up a dude like that just because I've been drawing Damon for so long. It's easy, second nature. So in the second book, more women will come in. So I get some practice. And in the third book, we double down. <laughs> so it's going to be women overload. Yeah. It's uh, guess what, guys? It's a it's a harem book. Yeah, twist. <laughs> There's a twist. It's it's like a anime harem book. Hey, I yeah. fucking hate my hair. I need a like a cap or something. Here you can ah! you can wear mine. Okay. I'm gonna have to get a haircut. My hair's all emo. I'm too old for that emo garbage. Yeah. How am I like? My hair is so long. Why is it all staying up? This is nothing. This is just me sleeping. I look like Goku. Just like I should. <laughs> I should make mine stand up. It'd only be like. You should, you should get a hawk. Let's do that. Get that hawk. Years ago, well, it's not been that long. It's been like maybe three, four years. It was down. My hair was down past my shoulders, and I'd put it in a ponytail all the time. Oh lord! It is ridiculous. Hey, I'm I'm loving people are liking the Ashcan. That's so fun. Dude, the the Ashcan was actually. Yeah. I like Sorry. the Ashcan better than issue one. The, the Ashcan was actually done after, so my art is better. So the Ashcan is probably what second issue is gonna look like. I so, actually... so if you like the Ashcan, yeah. <laughs> I actually like your art better in black and white. I, I think I just got better, on, on, honestly. Uh, I think I just like black and white comic books, though, is my thing. Although, it might be as well. I don't know. People like... And the coloring is kind of meh. You know, you know I'm I'm bad at coloring, you Well, guys. I mean, like... <laughs> you did a fine job for being the artist who had the color of the book. Um, <laughs> I've been there. The only reason that my book got colored by somebody who could color was I took a bunch of money out of my pocket. <laughs> I was like, hey, here's a bunch of money to color this book. Yeah. Tim says he uh, put out a cigarette on the ash can. Can he film it? I'd love that. <laughs> I, I would love Tim with like the, one of them French and like long ciggies and just like. <laughs> I want. I bet Tim smokes clove cigarettes. I, I bet Tim smokes crack. He seriously, <laughs> Tim. I, I bet Tim seriously goth. Like when he's not like on here, he's got like black eye makeup on. And his face <laughs> is painted white, and he's got the clove cigarette. He, he, he's probably in a corner drawing, you know, all he's the happy comic books. So he needs his to hair's be miserable. All messed up. He's listening to the Cure. <laughs> Uh, one eye visible, <laughs> eyeshadow, just like crawling in my skin. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> probably crying all the time uh, because he works so much. Like uh. his eyeliner's running down his face, where his tears just. Uh, Sierra Sketch says, "Way to which Ashcan? We have Ashcan, and it's like about a folklore creature from Czech Republic and." Uh, the main character of our book is gonna kill it. It's fun. It's it, popping. It turned out, man. You haven't even seen the print book, Shabby. The book and the ash can yeah. turned out so good. Ah, uh, that makes me so happy. <laughs> Cause uh, did like a a satin cover and satin pages where the the book is like an old school comic. It's not all glossy nice. and stuff. Oh, it turned you, out. You, yeah, so I, good. I'm waiting. For anyone to do like a re video review, because I want to see how the book printed, and also want to hear people's opinions. So, yeah, I'm I'm super excited for that. Well, I've got, I've got, what we overprinted. I don't remember how many, but uh, I'll I'll send you and pickle some copies of it. No, 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 no. Uh, that shipping is terrible. Yeah. We'll wait. We'll, we'll wait. I, I I can wait. Well, if you wait, you just wait, and then when we've got some overprints of uh, 
the world and second issue off. cinema yeah yeah yeah, yeah. second issue what i kind of want and this is if you could ship it like all the thing we have if you could ship it to me just before christmas so i can like give it to my family yeah that'd be cool the one thing uh i figured out which i can fit a lot you guys this stuff shipped quicker because yeah. Yeah, if you use like i use first class shipping and a lot of times they don't put the tracking number on here but i can look it up and make sure that it's arrived and all that crap but um uh, if you keep it as thin as possible in a mailer like this, it only ends up costing like two dollars and eighty something cents. That's super cool. And instead of like media mail costs pretty much a little bit over three, but um, this arrives in like three days, and media mail can take up to like a week or two weeks. So nice. that's one reason everybody's been getting their books so fast is because when I ship it that way. Like, there was one guy that got his book. I know I shipped it, like, three days ago or something like that. Like, on Monday. And he was yesterday, he was like, I got Vestry today. And I was like, that's insane. That's so awesome. That makes me so happy. Ah, I've been, I've been writing Cloud9 all, all of this process. It's been so fun. Yeah, that's what's neat, though. If I can keep the packages small and thin like this, then we yeah. can get them quicker if they're a little bit well if they weigh just a little bit more i think it's 13 ounces you have to either use media mail or a priority and priority is like six bucks or seven bucks or something it sucks would that be like if somebody got like three issues right yeah would that be over that's crazy i don't uh, know the people that got the two some people got two copies and two ash cans, and right. it was right on the line. I mean, it was like okay. just an ounce heavier, and it went no, it wouldn't have went. Ounce? What kind of crazy measurement is that? From the cloud hey, world, cloudy land. Hey, America doesn't number, work. America's number doesn't one, work. shabby. Get on a kilo with y'all. That's we one thing I I hate about America. Your bloody system of metrics. Get on the kilo. Get on the meters. <laughs> Tim says it's hard to keep your package small and thin when dealing with shabby. <laughs> That's a dick joke. <laughs> Tim's gonna be sent. Tim's gonna slide into your DMs later with some nudes. Oh, Tim's Daryl already. He's been messaging me. Just like. I see you on that stream, winky face. He'll be uh, he'll be sending yeah. you pictures of him with his uh, emo makeup on. Yeah, he's like flex for me, big boy. <laughs> oh, this. <laughs> what are you drinking today, Tim? Yeah, Tim. Yeah, it's that crack he's smoking. Remember you said he smoked crack. Yeah. Yeah. Tim, stop with the crack. Yeah, Tim, lay off the crack. I, that makes you really fast at art. <laughs> <laughs> but you need you need to tone it down, my man. Tim's like, when I smoke <laughs> meth, I can do ten pages a day, but it makes my teeth fall out. <laughs> it's worth it. <laughs> <laughs> Who needs teeth when you can draw ten pages a day? Ten pages a day. Oh boy, I can't afford a straw. <laughs> it's like a machine. He he just has a one of them sip, sippy straws with the hat, just drawing all day. Oh. And then he takes his emo close cigarette break, and then he goes back to uh, smoking man. Oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad Tim's in a good mood. I was in a good uh, mood once. I got over it. <laughs> hey, Tim was you talking needed, about poop you earlier. You need to say it with your hair over. <laughs> Tim was talking about poop earlier. I still got this Pudo. Pudo? My nephews bought me this because they thought it was hilarious. It's Play-Doh that's like poop colored. And you so got it's this, a brown You got this, this thing here, which you can barely see, but it makes poop. 
Okay. You should put like some yellow play-doh into it as well. I, well, I'm a grown man. I don't have any play-doh. I just have this because my nephew thought it was hilarious. But hey, Ash and Jekyll, I saw your review. Oh. It was awesome. Thanks for that. Oh, Jekyll. I dropped some poop in the floor. <laughs> He's dropping the deuce. I need to find it because I don't want Axel to eat it. Ducks are known to eat poop. Yeah, hopefully he don't eat this because I can't find it. <laughs> Plus this place is a mess. Place is a mess. Place is a mess. Oh, how am I doing with my accent? Is it getting better? You sounded like a Mexican. I I can do better Mexican. Oh, it's new dog. <laughs> I've done with the call me dog. I need my family, man. Man, man. I've done even all the callers, man. You didn't really bother to pay me, you know, Mr. Dog. Man. Mr. Doug, you know? <laughs> Mr. Doug, no here. <laughs> uh, I wanted to make a joke, but I'll tell you later. <laughs> my, my client that calls me Mr. Doug, he moved away. Oh. So now, so now everybody just calls you I'm Lady sorry. Doug? <laughs> no. My other client just goes, Hey, Doug, 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 hey, Doug, you know what, Doug? Doug, you know what? Doug. Look, my brother apparently yeah. bought a Mustang. It popped up on the screen for everybody to see it. <laughs> Lucky boy. Oh, yeah. Me, I have been to one Mexican restaurant in my life. And I go to... I, I, I don't know even what it was. It was wrapped. And it was rice and beans. And it was cold. Uh, I don't know what it was. That sounds but, uh, gross. I didn't like it. Because it, I, I think I would have liked it if, if it was warm, but yeah. it was cold. Who wants cold Mexican food? That sounds terrible. So, I never went there again. And and the business actually bombed. So well, no wonder <laughs> there's so, so many Mexican cold. restaurants. On that. Yeah. Serena says they have a lot of Mexican restaurants, but she lives on the border. It was burrito. Serena lives on the border. Of, of what? Czech Republic and... Or where is she? She must be a southerner then. Yeah, I'd say she probably lives in the, in the far south. She does the yeehaw a lot, I imagine. Serena probably owns a cowboy hat. Do you own a cowboy hat? I wish I owned a cowboy hat. I'm not a cowboy, though. I'm Man... Looking. I've been considering getting one though, wearing it all the time, so people will look at me funny. Shabby, I made I mean, you. I made you a poop. Thank you. I appreciate it. I I, I a, actually it, get to make green, myself. It's a green poop. Green one. Yeah. Novelty poop. Mm, it looks like pickles. <laughs> oh, Texas and Mexican word. That poop. means you're hot, and you're near Tim. I know so many people in Texas now. You guys want to poop? Crazy. I, I, I need to visit Texas one day, apparently. I mean, so many people there. <laughs> I'd like to go to Texas. Oh, my ex is living in Texas. Texas. Yeah, Tim is my ex. That's why he lives in Texas. He needed to move there. He spent his vacation here in, uh, you know, in Europe. We had a thing. Now he's in Texas. Same goes for Serena sketches. <laughs> also, one of my exes. Living in exes. Serena says we have cowboy hats. I'm gonna get me. I one. have cowboy hat. I have cowboy hat. How how dare you be American and don't have a cowboy hat? I'm not a cowboy. Should I go out and get my cowboy hat? Look, show... I've got a camouflage hat with an American flag on it. I'm. This is about as Tennessee as you get. The only, the only way I could be more, fit in more is if it said Marlboro or something on it. Or Skull. America. 
here you get lung cancer. <laughs> Serena says, "Put that poop away, Doug. I put it back. I put it back. Up. I put it back in here. Just, just put the poop down and slowly back away. No, no I, one needs to get hurt. I put, I put my poopy up. Speaking of poopy, Axel, come here, buddy. Come here, poopy. Oh, you, you just got your dog a turd. I call him poopy all the time instead of puppy. Poopy. Aww. Come here, buddy. I can hear him coming. What are you doing, buddy? Come here. Come here. Look what I got you. Up here. Good boy. Good boy. There you go. That's a good boy. You guys want to see a spoiler from the next Ash again? Sure. Oh, okay. Sure. You're sure. going to get so spoiled. I'm gonna so spoil you, you guys. I I don't know. You let me know what you think of it. I'm I'm nervous because I think I got worse. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you it sucks as soon as you show it to me. Please, even even if it's amazing, but like, that sucks. I, I mean, Tim does that, and because of that, that, to me that as well. sucks, shabby. Yeah. What do you mean, no? Yeah. What? What? What do you want in poo poo head? Huh? Come here, I ain't got you no more treats. Oh god. There it me. is. <laughs> I like it. Ash and Jack like wants it? a black and white uh variant of vestry number one. If you get like fifty people <laughs> to get it as well, we'll do it. Let me see what it would cost to do a really small run, Ash and Jackal. And if we can get enough people to buy it, uh, I'll just print. I'll just see if I can't print it out of pocket. Uh -huh. Yeah, if we just do like, let's say we just do like, you know, 15 or 20 and make, you know, a couple dollars on it. And then we'll just do that and I'll give you the money. Hell yeah. We got a bean in the chat and I got a cool art compliment. What up, Bean? Bean, Bean missed the poop, though. Bean, you missed the poop. Let me check the poop. Might be for the best, honestly. Probably. Nothing else, yeah. Because Axel, the come, here. See, come here and see everybody. Say hey. Him a good poopy. The best. I'm going to put Axel on the screen. Put him on a blast. Because <laughs> I got that little cutout oh. picture of me. Yeah. I just actually noticed a mistake in the art. Oh, no. <laughs> Sorry. I messed up the screen. Oh. oh I, I fixed it, though. I'm a good fixer. Mr. Fixer. So yeah, horses, man. Oh, there's Axel. Damon's got a badass beard. Oh yeah, hell yeah, man. Wet beard. No, that's what makes it work. <laughs> now we can have an Axel on the screen all the time yeah. now. You know what you need to do? Uh, you need like two images, right? And you have like Axel and bottom of his mouth. So you can just move it and make him talk. <laughs> that would be pretty funny. I could put that in Clip Studio and animate it. Ah, oh, that'd be fun. I've got a bunch of pictures of him with his mouth open. <laughs> so maybe I'll just like, you know, Clip Studio um, it together and make a really poor uh, animation out of it. I love poor animations. I'll have to get you to help me. Uh, I don't, because I don't understand how animation works in Clip Studio. Uh, right. I, I actually didn't do it in Clip Studio. Oh, did you know it? Uh, well, I, I drew all the images. I just put it in DaVinci Resolve and mix it up together. Oh, I see. Yeah. I used to cheat. I used to make little flash animations and stuff. And I, Not I, nice. I'm sure this works about the same way, but I'm just too lazy to... I've got... Oh, I, sure. I don't have time to sit and do goofy things, you know what I mean? I made that goofy intro uh, this morning, but 
I remember just... goofy things. I remember goofy things. <laughs> there. I'll be showing myself. <laughs> it's, uh, now it's... Axel's hanging out with you. Yeah, hey. I put him in your screen. Yes. Huh? Yeah. I'm. They miss saying he's duking. I can um, only assume that means he's pooping. He's the Duke of Hazard. Every time he poops. There it is. Yeah, you you can't see it, but Axel's sitting right next to you. You're looking at him right now. Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> Hold on, let me let, let me pet him. Let me pet him. I need to. There you go. <laughs> ah, there, there you go. Good boy. boy. He's being real good. He's just sitting so still. <laughs> this is the future of entertainment, you guys. <laughs> we have we have the technology to do. <laughs> well, we're doing better than uh, <laughs> than the TV that's at our place. My show has such good production values. Uh, that's why it's going to the top, number one on YouTube. One. Number one comic book talking thingy. Oh yeah, pet him behind his ear. That's, that's right. I have like 10 minute delay. So, so I'm like <laughs> now seeing what I am. Yeah, like we're, I it. we're ahead of everybody. They don't. They're so Number slow. Here. We're in the future. I love the future. So much better than the past where everybody else is at. Are you excited for the future? Tim says he's duking. Duking. Yeah. He's du duking in A the duking. future of entertainment. Yeah. He's her duking. I'm. Okay, uh, I'm gonna say this. I saw Serena sketches a lot. On like streams, I don't know if I follow her. Twitter, or even is she is she on Twitter at, at all? Is who do what? Serena sketches. Happy and Tim bidet squad. Me and me and Tim we created a new bidet, and that's our little business we're gonna take off with. <laughs> you guys are weird. Oh, man. I'm I'm for real. I'm so fortunate to be helped out by all of you guys. Like you, team, Matt Weldon, Pickles. You guys have been so. I I don't know. I've been so fortunate to have have you help me out. It's so awesome. I'm so grateful. I, I just need to work hard, and hopefully make it up to you somehow. Well, I know when I started doing anything, music, this, or anything, nobody ever helped do anything. Nobody, like everybody just wants to be a butthole. And I don't get yeah. that. I'd rather make a couple of friends. And, and People love to be negative, you know. They're like, you're never going to make it. Yeah. You know, what are you doing even? But then you guys come out of the woodwork, and things like, I like your work ethic. I, I like you talking about poo. Let me help you <laughs> out, and, and I'm like, for nothing. I did nothing though. Oh, hey, you're gonna have to send him some nudes here before long. I mean, I, at this point, I'd do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my God, Serena Sketches is like a big shot, big shot artist. Humble. Hey, she. Did. I am humble. She did this piece and let and let me put it in Legends of Lone Wolf. Show us her piece. I know it looks kind of uh, foggy. Where let me just open up the file. It's in the book. But let me open up the file on I'll my like the way it's like to see it. on my computer. <laughs> On, on, on your computer. On oh, your personal oh, computer. On my personal computer. 
Computron 5000. Oh, uh, I see, I see, I see. Oh, That's man. dope. I needed some placeholder names on the high score table in my game. I put Chevy and down, Pickles and Booster. Ah! <laughs> you. That's nice. You're nice. I don't know why it's taking forever for this picture to load up. More visually appealing. I need to be more visually appealing with my panels. I need to break them up more. I'll, I'll work on it. I'll work on it. I Hopefully, I can be better for you guys. Uh, I'm sure, dude. Just the more confidence you get and the more... Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, saw, I saw that in myself. I'm getting more cocky. I'm, I'm like... I, I played it very safe with the first issue. I'm like, let's box in everything. Let's make it all nice and tidy. And it was... Looking back, I could have dialed it up so it... You know, was less boring, I guess. I, I still, I... I still think it's a good book. I still think it's a fun book. Uh, but you know, looking back, I could have dialed it up to eleven, and that's what I'm trying to do now. And even with the script, like Pickles sent me a script for issue three, and I'm like, that's fine, but make everything more extreme. You, you know, <laughs> like forget subtlety, like throw that shit away. Let's dial it up to 11. <laughs> that picture won't load up, Shabby. Oh, gosh darn it. I don't know why. Oh, Ash and Jekyll, I, I appreciate every critique. Please rip me a new one, because... I, I No, I, I truly just... I need that. I'm loving... Because I get to know what areas I need to look to to improve. So please, please do. Rip me a new one. I, I'm waiting for Tim to do a review. He'll be like, this is garbage, this is garbage. Fix it this way, and I'm like, okay. He'll Crying. Be like <laughs> <laughs> He'll be like you. Oh, there we go. I finally got to load up. Oh, okay. Well, in 10 minutes, I'll see. <laughs> yeah, in 10 minutes, you'll see it. It's good, though. <laughs> what? what? Why are you it's barking bark. at me? What do you want? Uh, what do you want? You're on this. You're on the screen up here. How are you barking at me? And your mouth not move. You mad at me? Mm. He don't know it. But I gotta call the vet today. I think we're gonna go get him a shot. Ah, oh, a shot. Ooh, I have a. Kind of fun story to tell? I don't know. Uh, so our doggos started to shed a little more. And my mom read up that if you put more oil in their food, their coat gets thicker and better. So now they have olive oil in their, you know, food. And we were like, okay, that's going to change how they're are, are barking. And, and they're going to be like, hey, this. <laughs> Uh, with, with the Italian hand, you know, they'll do the Italian paw and just like. <laughs> that's funny. Thank you. Dogs are greatly funny to me. So I was thinking, what, what if, if let's say, you um, gave him potatoes in his food instead, would he be like, "Have <laughs> it?" He, he would be Irish if you put too many potatoes. Oh, in well, yeah. Food. But how 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 does the Irish Irish uh, dog bark? You know? I don't know. Well, you're not very creative, are you? <laughs> <laughs> he'd probably just start getting drunk. He'd come in here and he'd be lying <laughs> around with a bottle in his mouth, and I'd be like, "Where'd you get that?" Sorry, Irish people. I've just stereotyped you. All is drunks. Nice. <laughs> yeah, he's got to go get his rabies shot today, though. And I haven't made an appointment, but I'm going to call and see if they can get us in. Yeah. Be sure to get one yourself. I will. Nice. 
Train is coming. I'm gonna get some echo. As many people as I buy it, I probably need to get a baby shot. Do you have okay, uh Tim, are there coyotes in Texas? There's coyotes everywhere here in the States. Really? Yeah. Okay. Now can I pet them? <laughs> can I pet a coyote? I don't know. I don't think you get close enough one to. Really? Scary case. Okay. But we've got them like all over the place here. If you're outside at night, you can hear them howling all over the place. <laughs> oh, Serena has the expertise. She's Irish. Serena, how does Irish, Irish uh, doggos woof? But by the way, Czech dogs go huff. <laughs> That's a fun fact for you. We have huff. Not hoof or woof or bark. That's weird. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I, I, okay. Uh, do, the time, the second I'm meeting Tim, he's he. I'm lifting him over my head. That's a promise. Hopefully, there will, there will be someone to shoot it on a video. Even when I'm like sixty, and I'll meet him, and he'll be ancient probably i was going to meet up with uh jeremy lott once you know on twitter jeremy lott mm -hmm. and i can't remember what happened i think that was it was after christmas and everybody in my family had the corona or oh damn it apparently it it must have been the flu but my mom she was the one that got sick first and she got tested and they said it wasn't the flu and then we all mm. got really bad sick for like a week or two weeks oh, and so i didn't get a meet up with jeremy that actually sounds like corona <laughs> well that's you know I, I would like to actually get tested and see if i have the antibodies right. to see if i have right. it or not yeah, yeah yeah that'd be interesting huh and then i oh, get a shirt that said you know i had corona yeah. and i survived I'd, I'd be fine with getting it i'm just worried about the people around me you know because i have older folks I, I i know they're like not crazy old but like they're, they're above 50. <laughs> i'll see my mom she she retired this year but she's she's 58 i want to say Almost you get 59. to retire at 58. well she awesome. it's where she worked at the school and she had enough money put back in her retirement for so many years, oh, awesome. they used to they used to match what you put in, so yeah. she couldn't draw her full retirement, but she could draw most of it. And she, after this stupid COVID mess and the way schools are now, she was just like, "I'm just going to retire." So, oh damn, that's dope. That, uh, that's cool. She could retire at such a yeah. young age. I'll be dead before I can ever retire. So, oh, I, I see. That's why I'm pursuing drawing because I know that I'll never be able to retire so <laughs> let's, if, if I have to work 40 hours a week or more to, to the day I die I'd rather do something I enjoy <laughs> I don't blame you I messaged the HR guy where I work and I said you know if I quit that you'd be in trouble right <laughs> he's like what do you mean I was like I worked 30 six and a half hours last week i was like if i wasn't working this you would be screwed i was like there's nobody else to work yeah. it's like we're trying real hard to get somebody and I'm like well I, I, i'm not saying you're not i'm just letting you know <laughs> some <laughs> the, bonuses <laughs> yes well see that's the thing they offered a 250 dollar sign-on bonus for people to come and get a job yeah. it's like well what about me i've been here busting my butt and i don't get yeah. nothing you should quit and come back. That's what bonus. I told him. I said, I'm quitting. I said, uh, you can give me that bonus. Right. He's like, I wish I could. And I was like, well, what if, I was like, what are you going to do if I quit? <laughs> <laughs> give him bonus. They would be begging me to come back. Oh, for sure. I've, I've been doing some overtime as well. The company is literally cannot lose a single person. It's insane. How thinly everyone is spread. That's where we're we don't at. Do we don't do crazy overtimes like you. But man, if one person goes 
goes out. There, there was a dude who just went to a check for a doctor for one day, and all the rest of the guys had to do overtime. <laughs> Crazy, see, man. Like, we just... That one client moved out, so that was actually going to put us all back to normal. Mm-hmm. And the guy that works second shift, he's having to take off for medical leave because of his mom, because she's real bad off. So now that puts us right back where we was. Oh, like, man. Super shorthanded. So See, that's, that's the thing, like, the pressure that puts it on you, you know, like, you can't stop working because not so many people are going to suffer if you stop. That's crazy, man. See, I, it makes me feel bad because, like, I talk to people and they're like, oh, you you should just not go. And it's like, well, if I don't go, somebody else has got to go. We're all yeah. working overtime. You know, it's just, it sucks for everybody all the way around. Yeah. It, it, it's kind of like manipulation emotionally, I think, but and someone's got to do it and you know god bless you for well it just it makes me feel bad i don't know i, I guess yeah. i just <laughs> I, tell, no, I, tell thing, my, right? I tell my mom all the time i'm like you and dad all be ashamed teaching me to be responsible and have a job and all this stuff i said because i could have just been a bum and got welfare and never had to be responsible yeah. and have everything taken care of man that's insane like people get better paid if they're off work then they would work if they would work yeah serena says what kind of work doug i work um with people in with in- intellectual disabilities so there has to be somebody with them 24 hours a day to take care of um, them. i'm i'm so glad that doug is working with me you know because he, <laughs> he's used to it so yeah. <laughs> so it's like shabby no no, Shabby, don't eat that, Shabby. <laughs> it, it's hard over the internet, but I manage. <laughs> uh, did you wash your hands, Shabby, after you pooped? Ah, oh, I didn't. Ah, oh, I forgot once Man, again. Man, the number one thing that all, all, clients, <laughs> that all clients refuse to do, and you have to almost, like, you have to manipulate them or convince them, is to take a shower. Uh-huh. I have. Don't you feel- <laughs> they they will find ways to lie about taking showers, and they like you're sitting there, and your client comes out, and he smells like, you know, poop, mm. and you're like, dude, did you take a shower? Yes. It's like, no, you didn't. I was like, don't lie to me. You're going to, have to take a shower. We can't go out, you know, to take a shower. Tim says clients eating poop. I worked with a client one time that actually would eat poop. He uh he had um I can't I'm remember. I'm glad you are not naming my my name. <laughs> this this client uh, he wasn't allowed to go to the refrigerator or to um like go look through stuff. He cause he had a human rights restriction because he would eat anything he could get his hands on, like soap, poop, and uh, one time he pooped in the bathtub and he grabbed it and ate it. Oh. And on that note, that's the end of the stream. <laughs> <laughs> uh, welcome to my job. Well, oh. I have a far more easier job, I guess. I mow lawns and fix stuff. <laughs> I used to uh, work at Walmart, waxing floors and, and fixing stuff at Walmart. You... you... Looked like you would fit into Walmart. Well, thanks. That's <laughs> I, 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 is that? I've never something that hurt my feelings more in my whole life. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> you fit into. You know what? You fit into Walmart. <gasps> How dare you? <laughs> you look like somebody that work at Walmart. Well, thanks. <laughs> you know what's even worse? Somebody who shops at Walmart. Dude, if it wasn't for Walmart, my county wouldn't have nowhere to shop. That's brutal. We live like in the poorest place. We'll see. Another thing that's sad is the stupid 
pandemic crap they're pushing has closed down all the smaller stores and now yeah. Walmart and stuff all what what Walmart does is like they moved in this area and there used to be a lot of like family owned businesses and what Walmart did was they lowered their prices until they run yeah. all those businesses out and as soon as they're gone they raise their prices back up. Yeah, that's that's a problem. Yeah, it's it makes me mad. I'm not that, big, that's not that's big. the weird thing about like I don't want to get into it, but like capitalism, you, you know, it. I think capitalism works great if it's on a smaller scale, if it's the mom and pop shop, but then you have these large companies, and <laughs> but then it gets weird. Well, see, what what makes it weird is these large companies go and they pay lots of money and lobby at Congress and get yeah. rules bent and things like large corporations have rights and. Uh, Originally here in the States, income tax wasn't going to be taxed on everybody. It was going to be taxed on corporations and stuff like that instead. But no, they changed to where they... I mean, it's it's a mess. I, I hate even talking about it because it makes me mad. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm completely same. But, you know, at the same time, I don't like socialism either. Oh, no. Oh, no. I think capitalism is the best we have so far you know and but just the, some always, buttholes can ruin it <laughs> yeah there's always somebody going to manipulate the system yeah. you don't get rich by being honest most of the time that's unfortunately true let's cry about it <laughs> yeah I mean there's nothing I can do about it except you know maybe yeah. you know I mean become a criminal Criminals it apparently is, get treated better yeah. than anybody else does. Tim, are are you rich, Tim? I, I think Tim might be the, the, the best uh, showcase of that. Tim's, Tim's are, a doctor, are, are, though. But, but, well, yeah, but he made his money by drawing, by hard work. Yeah, but he'd become a doctor, and doctors are... Uh, mm. they, Maybe they, I'll... They're like a necessity, and so. Yeah. Even when he draws comics, he's a necessity. <laughs> no, no, I'm electrician. You know, I, I studied electrical engineering, dude. <laughs> I can. I studied computer technology, and then I hate computers, so I never did anything with that. Yeah. Oh yeah, Doctor Maple is prime example of it. He's working hard, being honest, nice guy, making cash. That's that's where you want to be, in my opinion. You guys keep like, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, like, the goal would be to get to the level of Dr. Naple Mike Mignola. You know, that's obviously the far out goal. I'll be glad if I can get some more backers on the Kickstarter from now. Uh, Sorry, I got a message on my phone. Oh, yeah. I, I thought we had like a minute, you know. <laughs> oh, so, so, so look at Mr. Moneybags over here. Uh, lol, no, my wife and I have a six figure debt due to medical school tuition. Oh, look at that. Fancy medical school. Wouldn't that be nice? Doesn't it mean I'm richer than Tim, since I don't have debt? <gasps> get, get schooled, son! <laughs> Man. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> You're getting a lot of messages, don't you? <laughs> I'm like, Tim, stop messaging me. It's on the stream. I don't know if you saw what he said there. It's pretty funny. Yeah. Those school loans, man. Oh, man. I'm glad I'm dumb and didn't go to college. <laughs> I did go to college, by the way. I'm, I, I'm, I know I don't look it, but there are some brains in there. 
just little, but still, still pretty solid. Oh man, I'm I'm technically richer than. Huh. Well, team, um, my school homes were over ninety k. Holy shit balls! That's crazy. And that's dollars. <laughs> that's dollars. Fucking hell. Skinny just said, hey, Shabby. It popped up here next to your face. Hey, Skinny. See, I got, all my, I got all my... I just went to technical school. I decided not to go to college afterwards. But uh, yeah. all mine was paid for by the government because I was, my family was poor as crap. See, if you can do it. But uh, like I said, I decided not to go to college afterwards because I... After I finished, I hated computer technology so bad. I was like, I'm not doing this as a job. How are you? Six-figure debt. That's mental. You're never going to pay that off. Yeah, you cannot pay that off. That's ridiculous. Why would you do that? <laughs> that's insane. That's, you could, dude, that's what you they could push on pay. people here in this country. It's you on go back and make more money It's on TV. in your lifetime. It's on TV and everything, man. Every TV show is pushing people to go to college. It's like you're a complete failure wow. if you don't go to college and all this stuff. Um, you Jeez. can go to technical school and get a job doing anything and be yeah. like loaded in like 10 years and have no debt whatsoever. Or you can go Crazy. to college and not find a job doing right. anything you got a degree in yeah. and have you know $100,000 in debt for the rest of your life. So, so I come from family of blue collar workers. So, so like everyone who knows a trade, you, you, you know, and that's how I was kind of brought up. I'm, I'm the off, I'm the offshoot. I'm like you do arts, ooh, <laughs> you, you want to draw for a living? What are you? Some kind of precious about your hands? Some kind of sissy. Yeah, girl, sissy. <laughs> I look at that Serena actually paid them all off. How? 90k seems insane. So, so, so Serena is Mr. Moneybags. Mrs. Moneybags. Right now. Look at that. Uh, uh, by the way, I followed you on Twitter. So be sure to. I agree with Tim there. He says college is a scam. Only practical de degrees are medicine, engineering, and law. That's right. Uh, oh, yeah. I agree. I've... I've got a friend, and I'll use the term friend loosely because I don't talk to the guy anymore because he's an idiot. But uh, he cannot function in the real world. He got a full ride to UT and wasted it on a the degree in philosophy. <laughs> My he, mate did the same. Oh, he went to college. This and... guy's he's he's a word I can't say. I'm not allowed to say anymore because it's not nice. But uh, <laughs> he. Uh, was out of school for like a year, could not hold a job, couldn't do anything, couldn't function in the real world, whined and cried all the time. He mm. uh, ended up getting arrested for drunk driving and going to jail for like six months. And uh, then okay. once 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 he got done with all that, he went back to school and has continuously been going back to school ever since. Jesus. That's all he can do is go to school because that's the only safe space there is for him. I, I have a friend totally like that who is like on his third uh, turn of colleges, I guess. Uh, so so he's basically studying all over. I think now he quit already because he finally got a job. <laughs> I don't know, but but yeah, he spent so much time in school. Uh, yeah, and, yeah, that's crazy. Ooh. Oh, Serena, Serena Sketches is a badass. Join the army. Holy shit. I, is she like the uh, coolest person I know now? Join the army paid off debt. I want to do that. <laughs> I'd really not have debt. I'm about to go into debt because I'm going to build a house. But... That's reasonable, though, I think. I don't know. Like, right now, I've got... I think about $6,000 is maybe 
maybe seven thousand dollars is all I owe. That's that's all the debt I have in the world. And okay. uh, so we can go into debt and build a house and burn this place right here to the ground. All of these numbers are like crazy to me because you get you, you have higher economy, right? So you you pay for everything way more, and you have bigger debts and b bigger paychecks. But wow, <laughs> that's insane! You see, the I, only... I, I feel like I'm so poor <laughs> just <laughs> by talking to you. <laughs> like where I live in in the United States is probably like the the, the poorest county in in like the United States. It's it's ridiculous. So our cost of living is really low. Mm, yeah. and the only reason that I'm got that much debt is because I bought a, a decent car. And where I live, you, you have to have <laughs> you have to have a car because I yeah have no, to, no public transport right yeah I have yeah. to drive like thirty minutes to go to work. So that's the only mm. reason really that I'm that I'm got any debt right now because I got a really awesome car. Oh, that makes sense. I've actually thought about selling it and then not being in debt at all. Oh. Just buy yeah. it, you know, drive it, yeah. drive a turd all the time. Mm. Uh, my plan is to build shipping container house and that will be cheaper. I thought about doing so, that too. Yeah. They look so cool. I don't know. I, I, I need like a... I need like a mate or a wife to <laughs> to go down with with the house, and then then in like ten years I can swing it. <laughs> if the comics go good, you know, like I need the comics to go to good, and then I'll build my container house. <laughs> so, you never know. Maybe we'll get there. Cash grab raised two hundred and twenty-five k. Fucking hell! That's and... a lot of money. And it's it's um, and it's stupid. I want money. <laughs> Me, yeah. Just be yeah, a really yeah. crap. Just become a really crappy person, yeah. and ha and be a huge turd online. And, you know, uh, maybe that, have that's kind of thing that pisses me off because you can become internet famous or whatever by being like the biggest piece of shit, mm -hmm. and, and then you do like video where like you go. Uh, you know what? I looked back, and I'm changing myself. And people are, people are genuinely nice, so they forgive you, and they give you second chance. But you still have the following, right? So you can see like all the Doctor Phil kids trying to become insta famous, in Instagram famous, whatever. And the whole thing is, you become a shitty person, go on TV, uh, and get rich from that. <laughs> like, my man. Yeah. Are, are, are we finally in the time of the day where we just gonna bitch? <laughs> yeah. Let's bitch. You guys, <laughs> in the chat, in the chat, put in topic and we'll bitch about it. <laughs> we already covered that. We already covered people. <laughs> I think I'm about the time of the day where I'm gonna wrap this stream up, and uh, yeah. I think I'm gonna take Don't Axel, see Don't if I can get a rap. shot, and then uh, go to the lake, throw him in the, the water. Mm. Lake. He likes to swim. None of our dogs like to swim. We well, have a bond. Axel, and likes, mm. Axel likes to get in the water and walk around. And then once mm -hmm. he gets like where he has to swim, he freaks out, and then he, he doesn't like it. Oh man! Oh, I made him mad last time we were at the lake because he was walking, he had a good time. Then he had to swim, and he's starting to freak out. And I had his harness <laughs> on him, so I just grabbed the top of the harness and I stuck my hand under him, and was like holding him up as he was swimming. And right. I did that for a few minutes, and once he got where he could touch, he ran out of the water and laid down, and like he would not look at me the rest of the day. He was like, "No," <laughs> he's like, "You made me mad. I'm not talking to you." Oh, I I, I love your relationship with that dog. 
Well, he's he's my buddy. I live here by myself, so it gets kind of it kind of sucks when you live by yourself because there's nobody to talk to or nothing like that. So you talk I, to me. I live here with him, and I come in in the morning and I sing to him and aggravate the crap out of him, and he just whatever. <laughs> I bought him for Taco Bell the other day. He liked that. <laughs> Don't give your dog Taco Bell. He loves it. He'll die, probably. Just, just give him a little bit of junk every once in a while. It won't hurt him. I had a dog that ate table scraps and lived to be 15 years old. Table scraps of what, though? Uh, I don't know. Just whatever mom I'd, do throughout. I'd time. argue. I'd argue table scraps would be healthier than Taco Bell. You're probably right. <laughs> But I mean, that's just something I give him every once in a while, not very often. He, mm. I mostly, he, I, he don't eat dry dog food very much either. I mostly feed him canned dog food. He'll eat yeah. a handful of uh, dry dog food every once in a while. But oh, he's a little fancy boy. Yeah, he's fancy. <laughs> I'm, dude, he, he's spoiled. he is spoiled. He is abs he's spoiled rotten. <laughs> the bedroom in there that. The floor, like part of the floor, is falling out. I don't even go in that room anymore. There's a there's a mattress in there because I'm mm. getting rid of some of the furniture. The mattress and box springers laying there. He's he's decided that's his bed now, and he sleeps on that mattress every night. And I just let him. I'm <laughs> like, hmm, whatever. That's your bedroom. You can have it. He's oh he's spoiled. He rides. I let him ride in the front seat in the truck. If I'm driving the truck, he sits in the front seat. Whatever he wants, he's got it. Little baby boy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's bull rotten. Well, like I said, I'm going to wrap this stream up. So everybody Let's needs to go and back Vestry. And please. You, need, you need to sign up for Otis Stein. Um, if you backed Vestry on Indiegogo, it should be there. Should be there. Probably today or tomorrow because. Yeah. Three meter review. I love it. Tell Shabby how much you liked it. Yeah. Post, oh, post oh, pictures. I want to see some unboxing videos. I also want to see that. I want to see unboxing videos. I want to see reading videos. I want to see. Uh, I want to see boxing videos. Uh. Yeah, so. Yeah. Okay. Good posting Let's wrap it up. But, you guys, uh, awesome. Love you all for hanging out with us. You've been, yeah, I'm if so you didn't see my that. super special uh, opening today, go back and watch it at the start of stream. Uh, well, I'll be back probably tomorrow or sometime, but you all have a good day, and uh, we'll talk etchings later. Oh, yeah. Bye-bye. Uh,